Hello, welcome back, my wonderful viewers. This is the point five tutorial. I'm here to teach you guys the full meaning of HCF and how to go about it. HCF stands for highest, highest common factor. Highest common factor. Before you know HCF, please, can you tell us the meaning of factor? So, in mathematics, if I say find the factors of 20, I'm actually asking you to find numbers that can divide 20 without remainder. So, a number is said to be a, to be a factor if and only if that number can divide the said number without what remainder. So if I put it in plain English, the factors of this are, I start from factor, start from 1, 2 can divide this with a remainder, other thing 4, we have 5, we have 10, and we have 20. Factor starts from 1 and ends with regards to what? With regards to the same word, the same, the same number. So these are numbers that can divide what? 20 without remainder. If you put 3 here, 3 cannot divide 20 without remainder. There must be remainder. If I had two remainders, we match. So in this regard, 4 is said to be a factor of 20. 5 is said to be a factor of 20. Because of what? These two numbers can comfortably divide what? 20 without what? Remainder. 20 is itself a factor of what? 20. Every number is a factor of itself because every number can divide itself without remainder. So, a number is called a factor if it can divide a given number without what? Remainder. So, this is the meaning of what factor. Now, when somebody say common factors, before you say common factors, there must be two factors that you are comparing. If I want to compare a thing, I say find, find the common, find the common factor of 18 and 12. The common factor of 18 and 12 solution could be for 12, that you first of all find the numbers that can divide 12 without remainder. That's factors of 12. 1 can divide 12 without remainder, 2 can go, 3 can go, 4 can go, 6 can go, and 12. All these guys are the factors of 12. They are the only numbers that can divide 12 without what remainder. You check the factors of what? 18. The factors of 18 is asking you what numbers can divide 18 without remainder. As usual, we start with 1. We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 6, we have 9. I will have 18. So these are numbers that can divide 18 without what remainders. They are the factors of what 18. Now where common factors come in play is you ask yourself, you check the factors of of 12 that are also that are also the factors of what 18. If you check here, one appears here, one appears here, two appears here, two appears here. 3 appears here, 3 appears here, 4 appears here, but there is no occurrence of 4, you can't circle it. Nine, 6 appears here, 6 appears here, 9 appears here, it doesn't appear here, 12 occurs here, it doesn't occur here, 18 occurs here, it doesn't occur so we leave these guys. Now the common factor which I will call CF, I will call it CF, CF means common factors in my own parlance. It will be those numbers that we have circled, the number that are what? That are common. We then have one, two, three, and six. These are the common word factors. Now, suppose you are asked to find the HCF of this 18 and 12. All you need to do after finding the factors, you go on to find the common factors. Then, from the common factors, you get you check the number that is the biggest here the biggest is what six 
So 6 is nothing but what? The HCF of 18 and 12. Let me clean it and give you guys another example. Before I teach you a different method of looking for the same thing, in case you prefer to go by that way. Alright, so we don't have this. Supposing I say what is the HCF of what is the HCF of 24 and 36. So the solution here is number one thing you have to find the factors of each number. The first number 24. Factors of 24 means the numbers that can divide 24 without remainder. Every factor starts from 1. 2 can go, 3 can go, 4 can go, 6 can go, 8 can go, and um, 12 can go, and 24 itself. Now, another one is 36. Factors 1 can go, 2, 3, 6, 6, 9, we have 12, we have 18, we have 36. So these are the factors of this. Now the common factors, which I'll put here, are those numbers that are what common on both sides. They are common. Numbers that are common. We write them down: one, two, three, six, twelve. These are the common factors. Then HCF is highest common factor. From your common factor, what is the highest number there? It is what? 12. So there is no big deal. But let me show you guys a different technique of going about this. In case, if you guys don't like this method, you can go with this to see if you can still arrive at a concrete word answer. This one looks similar to the method I used in the last LCM I did. So this guy will be, you just drop it 24, you drop it 36, you drop it like this. You look for a number that must divide these two numbers. It must divide. So 2 can go. 2, 24 divided by 2 will give you this 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. You look for another number that must divide these two numbers. 2 can go. This here is 6. Now, you look for another number that must divide this, 3 can go, 3 here, we have 2, 3 here, 3. You look for another number that must divide these 2 and 3, there is no other number. 2 can divide 2, but it cannot divide 3, so we stop. 3 can divide, 3 can divide 3, but it cannot divide 2, so we stop. So we take this guy, we we'll take it, our HCF, would then be this 2 times this 2 times this 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3, 12. The same 12 we got in previously. So, let me repeat the second question. If you can recall the time, I say you get the SCM of 12 and 18. Let us check. Using this same technique, we draw and put down our 12. Put down our 18 first line. Check number that must divide 2 can go as 6, 9, 3 can go, 2, 3. No other number can go again. Pick this. Our HCF becomes 2 times 3, which is 6. So this is the what I got in the, the previous uh, method, and both of them are the same. Please, I will plead for you guys. So at least subscribe and keep me posted in case you are having what issues. Please do subscribe to my channel and feel free to share it to your friends and families. Those that are finding math is difficult, please reach out to them and let them know that math is a very simple word, uh, subject. Do have a wonderful day and please stay with us. So, thank you.